Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about that writing has strengthened my creativity. Now, I was sorry for I was gone last week. It wasn't because I was sick or I wanted to spend time with family. Well, actually, I did spend time with family for a little bit. I went to my younger brother's football game. But besides that, I've been doing a lot of writing recently. Just a lot of writing. And writing can be very relaxing. Not just reading. I made a video where reading can be very real relaxing, but I mentioned other things that could be very relaxing, like going for a walk or writing, which I'm talking about right now. I've been I've got this notebook, which I'm ha I haven't completed just yet, of writing just a bunch of stuff that I find, you know whatever my creativity puts in the notebook. I've been intrigued with, you know, superheroes ever since I was a kid. But the most the most thing I got intrigued when it comes to superheroes specifically is the X-Men. Now, if you guys don't know what the X-Men is, it was created back in, in the 1960s with like the civil rights movement. Um, during that time where Stan Lee created the X-Men during the Civil Rights Movement. And these X-Men characters, they're born with um, super superhuman abilities. And a lot of people end up discriminating against them just because they're born with super um, with superpowers. And they ended up antagonizing them, bullying them. And some people would even go so far as to create hate groups for these fictional characters. And it's kind of similar to real world problems because back then a lot of people were getting discriminated back in the day for their skin color, their sexual orientation, or how they acted or whatever. Things were things are different then as they are now. And I'm so glad that Stan Lee and other creators were able to create the X-Men. Because without the X-Men, I wouldn't be able to make notes like this. <laughs> and I've been watching some of the X-Men movies, too. The, mo the Fox movies were so good. The Deadpool movies were amazing. Still are. I think about Deadpool and Wolverine. I think about that movie a lot. <laughs> Ever since I've seen that movie, thanks to my older brother taking me there. Shout out to you, big bro. I haven't been stopped thinking about that movie or even quoting it from time to time. He has risen, baby girl. Fuck! <laughs> That's a little quote there I thought I'd, you know, say out there. So, I've been creating my own X-Men characters and my own alternate universe because Marvel, the, um, the superhero, like, organization, I should say, they have their own certain universes on where characters have like different settings, different characters in there. I created my own universe, Earth 2.271, because, you know, the Earth's 616-838, they haven't done decimals yet, so I figured why not make my own universe, Earth 2.271. Where I have my own X-Men care, I created my own X-Men character. I created my own villain. I've created just a few characters. And it has strengthened my creativity so much. I've been thinking about how are they going to fit into this story? What are their motivations? How um, are they going to live or die later on in the future? How are things going to work like that? Because that's how... Writing gives you that creativity and gives you so many questions that thinking about how to answer them later on as as you're writing them. You got your rough drafts, then you got your final draft and all of the good stuff. You know, writing, not it doesn't have to be just superhero stuff that you could write. Some people are so good at writing that they end up publishing their own novels. I do wish one day that I could at least publish my stories to Marvel, but that's only a dream that could possibly never happen. But if it does happen, then yeah, sure. This is just fan fiction I've been writing. So everybody has their own fan fiction. Not everybody gets 
their dream of publishing it to Marvel or whatever. Like, I mean, it's a small possibility if it's good, but it's just, you know, trying to be realistic here. It's possibly never going to happen, but I do think about it from time to time, how my characters could fit into the X-Men comics. And I would totally read it, of course, if it ever gets published, which I doubt it will. But anyway, I just wanted to go on a little tangent there about my writing and how creative I've gotten recently. And that's why I didn't show up and make a video last week. Sorry about that. And also, if, before I go, there might be some changes to this channel. I might not be uploading every single Saturday. I can upload every Saturday, but there are times where I won't be uploading every Saturday. Not that I'll be sick or any other stuff like that. It's mostly because of, you know, trying to keep up with ideas and topics I'll be talking about because I don't want to repeat the same thing over and over again. I've done that before many times when it comes to multiple topics. I've been on, I've been on YouTube for four years now, and I've been trying so hard to create, come up with new ideas and topics to discuss that I'm slowly getting to the point where I'm thinking, huh, what should I talk about? Should I not make a video and think about it later? So that whole stuff will come to a conclusion or I don't know. It's just, I'll have to think about how things are going to go for this channel in the future. If I'm ever going to make video, if I'm going to not make a video for next week or the week after or blah, 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 blah. We'll just have, you'll, we'll just have to see how things go. And if I won't be uploading next week or whenever, don't get too, don't get too upset. <laughs> Besides, you can always rewatch my other videos if you, um... If you realize that I haven't uploaded a new one, but that's okay. That's all right. That's no, that's nothing too bad to sneeze at. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.